Lawmakers in Banjul have on Thursday considered and ratified the grant financing agreement between the Republic of the Gambia and the United States of America. Gambia's finance minister tabled the development objective grant agreement aimed at strengthening the country's democracy, peace and stability. Details in this report by Haida Toure. Speaking before lawmakers, the Finance and Economic Affairs Minister Mamburin Yai said the $2 million grant provided by the United States Agency for International Development is in line with the government's 2018-2021 to National Development Plan. A key strategic priority of the National Development Plan is to restore good governance, respect for human rights, and the rule of law. In line with the overarching goals of the NDP and its strategic priorities, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, is providing support to the government of the Gambia through the Development Objective Grant Agreement, DOAG, aimed at strengthening democracy, peace, and stability in the country. The DOAG is a grant initially amounting to two million United States dollars, with possible increment to 15 million United States dollars, subject to availability of funds by USAID and upon written notice to the government. Minister Ndiaye said that even though the government is committed to strengthening democratic institutions and enhancing accountability to the Gambian people, there remain some gaps in terms of capacity within some government branches, institutions, agencies, civil society, and the media. Honorable Speaker, to bolster government's efforts and address the aforesaid gaps, the DOAG will contribute to expanding, protecting, and strengthening the Gambia's democratic pro progress by enhancing the agency of both citizens and civil societies and strengthening institutional and human capacities within branches, i.e. the executive, legislative, judiciary of the government of the Gambia. Protecting and promoting the advancement of civil and political rights in the Gambia by enabling civil actors to exercise and promote their civil and political rights safely and securely. Advancing the capabilities of the justice sector to safeguard and advance the civil and political rights and to capacitate the institutions of governance to deliver government services transparently, equitably, efficiently, and effectively. Gambia's finance minister further stated that the grant will help strengthen participatory, representative, and inclusive political processes, while helping to reform the legacy governance structures that enabled the human rights violations of the past. Still deliberating on the importance of the grant, Mambo Renjai said the DOAG will promote press freedom and freedom of expression by cultivating bourgeoisie enthusiasm in the media sector and reinforcing ethical and professional standards. However, Jai stated that to achieve these objectives, certain key activities will be implemented. These will include modernizing case management systems and general court administration, anti-corruption training of legal professionals, and building the capacity of civil society and media entities. Human rights sensitivity, ethics and anti-corruption training with legal professionals potentially in partnership with relevant local CSOs and actors. Mobilize existing actors or networks to collaborate on issues-based campaign activities related to access to justice, human rights or civic space constraints, strengthen the, cap the capability of CSOs to undertake research to develop the analytical basis for reforms and advocacy efforts. Capacity building of civil societies and media entities to monitor and evaluate the impact of draft or enacted legislations, including how legal and regulatory frameworks affect the ability of men, women, religious, and ethnic minorities, persons with disabilities, or youth's ability to participate in civil and political activities. This agreement between the government of the Gambia and the United States of America is fully in the form of a grant. The grant is expected to immensely contribute to the attainment of the National Development Plan. Reporting for iAfrica TV, Hadija Tuhaita Ture.